Paul Golding, Wikipedia article audio. Paul Anthony Golding is a British far-right political figure. He is the leader of Britain first. Political career. Legal issues. December 2016 arrest and resignation. Alleged sex attack. 2017 arrest. 2018 conviction. Donald Trump retweets. Elections contested. In December 2016, Golding was sentenced to eight weeks imprisonment for breaching a court order banning him from entering a mosque or encouraging others to do so in England and Wales. He took six months' leave from the party and Jada Franson, the deputy leader, acted as leader during his absence. Although Golding had been expelled from the British National Party after attacking its only ethnic minority councillor, Golding was a BNP Sevenoaks District councillor for Swanley S. St. Mary's Ward from 2009 to 2011. He was also a communications officer for the party. In 2016, he stood as a candidate in the London mayoral election, where he finished in eighth place. He stood as British National Party candidate for Sevenoaks in the 2010 general election, and received 2.8% of the vote. He stood in the 2014 local elections and as a Britain first lead candidate in the 2014 European parliamentary election for Wales, the party received 0.9% of the vote. Golding had been a member of the neo-Nazi National Front and once attended a cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday wearing women's underwear on his head. In May 2015, Golding threatened to bury a pig at the site of proposed mosque in Dudley, mistakenly believing this would contaminate the site and render it unsuitable. At the Britain First Annual Conference in November 2015, Golding and his deputy Jada Franson led the meeting which agreed a number of policies including banning the media from using the word racism and abolishing the BBC. He stood as a candidate in the London mayoral election in 2016. He came eighth with 31,372 votes while Labour S. Sadiq Khan was elected as mayor. In May 2014, Golding was arrested for criminal damage and breach of the peace during an Al Muhajiran protest outside the Indian Embassy in London. In July 2014, he tried to have himself arrested at Bexley Heath Police Station over an incident at Crayford Mosque, but failed, an act widely considered to be a fundraising publicity stunt. In August 2014, the Advertising Standards Agency accused Britain first of illegally using an image of the Royal Crown in its logo, ordering all images of the Crown to be removed from Britain first's official website, marketing materials and merchandise with immediate effect. Golding responded by calling the ASA a toothless quango with no power which no one takes any notice of and refused to change Britain first's logo. In March 2015, he was arrested on suspicion of assault during a Britain First March in Derby, as was an opponent who Golding had claimed assaulted him. Also in 2015, Golding was convicted of harassing a woman, after mistakenly arriving at her home instead of that of a man allegedly linked to the 2005 London bombings. He was also found guilty of wearing a political uniform, an offence under the Public Order Act 1936. A restraining order was issued against Golding and he was fined for both offences. In September 2017, Golding and acting leader Jada Franson were arrested and charged with religious harassment. They were both bailed and appeared before Medway magistrates in October 2017.
Their arrests followed an investigation by Kent police into the distribution of leaflets in the Thanet and Canterbury areas, and the posting of online videos during a trial at Canterbury Crown Court in May 2017. Golding's Twitter account is withheld in Germany. In December 2016, Golding was sentenced to eight weeks in prison for breaching a court order banning him from entering a mosque or encouraging others to do so in England and Wales. Nine days after the imposition of the court injunction, Golding drove others to a mosque in Cardiff, they entered and mosque members found their behaviour provocative and unnerving. They feared the situation could have escalated if prayers had still been going on. Leadership of Britain first was passed on to former Deputy Leader Jada Franson in November 2016. Franson claimed that Golding was taking six months' leave as leader of the organisation to address some important, personal family issues. The satirical news website, The Rochdale Herald, capitalized on the incident by inviting readers to sponsor his incarceration to raise money for refugees. On November 7, 2017, Golding was sentenced to a 120-day suspended prison sentence and ordered to carry out 200 hours of unpaid community work by Seven Oaks Magistrates Court after admitting a charge of assault by beating. He was also told to pay £750 compensation to his victim, plus £115 victim surcharge and £85 prosecution costs. Summing up, Magistrate Alan Austin described it as a really nasty and vicious assault in a public place. In late 2017, Accusations were made against Golding by a female under the age of consent, who attended one of the group rallies protesting against the sexual abuse of young girls, that Golding had sexually abused her. Graham Morris, a former Britain First member, had claimed that the deputy leader, Jada Franson, had encouraged the victim to stay quiet, saying, I can give everything you need a platform. I'll do this for you, that for you. In December 2017, on a reported visit to Belfast to support Jada Franson, Golding was arrested by the Police Service of Northern Ireland for a speech he gave in the city in August, and was later charged. On March 7, 2018, Franson and Golding were found guilty of religiously aggravated harassment at Folkestone Magistrates Court, as a result of an investigation concerning the distribution of leaflets in 2017 in the Thanet and Canterbury areas. The pair were convicted over an incident at a takeaway in Ramsgate, Kent, during which Franson screamed pedophile and foreigner while Franson was also convicted for approaching a mistaken address she believed to belong to a Muslim defendant on a rape trial. They were both sentenced to prison, with nine months for Franson and 18 weeks for Golding. On November 29, 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump retweeted three anti-Muslim videos shared by Jada Franson on her Twitter account supporting her views. Three weeks later, on December 18, Twitter suspended the accounts of Golding, Franson, and Britain first for inciting racial hatred. They later joined and asked their followers to go to the Gab social networking service created as an alternative to social networks like Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. UK General Elections European Parliament Elections London mayoral election